Hi, this video is the uh, hair transplant uh, advanced hair loss. Uh, thank you, Ethan, for allowing me to uh, film the full face. Uh, he actually flew in from uh, Oklahoma. He actually watched, uh, he can be the next project for, uh, I don't know, you guys know the uh, Chris, the other video that I've done. We did the month to month, and, and, uh, and Ethan is similar like Chris. He's actually uh, part Vietnamese and have some French blood. And it's the French side that caused him to lose quite a bit. Uh, Ethan, can you look all the look all the way down to show the audience that how much uh, hair loss he has, uh, and he's actually going to be a class seven in the future. Uh, right now, he's a five, you know, four or five. Go ahead, look up. Um, and so we're gonna try to do as much hair as we can. Uh, with advanced hair loss, you're gonna need multiple surgery. One surgery is not gonna be complete. But our goal is to make sure the front half got to be as dense as we can. And then whatever left, well, we march toward the back. Okay. Um, but the important thing is the artistry of the hairline. Um, for <clears throat> so for um, <clears throat> Ethan here, we not just got to lower the hairline, but we got to bring his temple. Uh, again, as for most Asian, um, from the mid eyebrow to the hairline, around seven half, uh, six and a half to seven centimeters. Caucasian is seven and a half to eight and a half. However, uh, Ethan here naturally has a higher hairline. You see his hairline start at the front of the forelocks there, right there. For his, and he has quite a bit of residual hair, and then when he frowns, the highest crease right there. Because he's part French and Caucasian, um, his hairline actually higher than Chris' hairline. Chris' hairline born with a lower hairline. His was around a six centimeter. Uh, but again, not, not everybody's going to have a high hairline or low hairline or within the uh, bell curve. Um, for his, we base on the natural frown and the proportional. Um, his is around about well, eight and a quarter. Uh, yeah, eight and a quarter hairline. <coughs> you see, um, uh, but we can lower his just a little bit more to eight centimeters. But the fact that he needs so much hair that he might. Um, want to leave that a little bit high so that way it eats up a little bit less graft but again he just born with a naturally high hairline and we base on the uh, frontal most uh, forelock and when he frowned those all have a lot of residual hair here too but that's one one clue the other clue is when he frowned his forehead that's where the, the crease of his hairline is so then once we get the shape down but you can see on the side the temple is thinning uh, and we had to bring in his temple on this side too, just like a pinky. Uh, if we don't bring in his temple, it, it, it's um, he has a lower hairline with a wide forehead. What you want is a lower hairline, uh, and uh, bring it down and frame the face better, and then bring, make sure not just proportional this way, and the third, but make sure it's proportional from here to here, <coughs> and <coughs> and that's where the shape of the hairline. As you know, I'm I'm very um, obsessive composer when it comes to how natural the hairline is. And once we get the shape down, we transplant at a very precise angle, 35-45 in the front, increase when you go backward, and changes when you go different direction. The temple tend to be flat and pointed backward, but the temple hair is pretty tricky. Um, we don't have a lot of uh, soft hair, so we're trying to select as the most finest hair as we could. Okay, and that's that, and then not only the precise angle is important, Selection of hair grafts in point. We transplant rows and rows, single hair graft in the front, followed by root to grow two hair, three hair, and four hair in the back for bulk and volume. Again, uh, because of his advanced hair loss, you know, we will probably have to do the strip method to uh, harvest the most amount of hair per day, which is you know 4,500 or more, whatever we can get out. Uh, because with an advanced hair loss, you're probably going to need uh, more, one more surgery for touch up. And uh, I'm very excited for him because very good looking guy right here and um, once you have the hair and it, it frame the face better and it's more proportional it will really enhance the uh, the eyes the nose and the feature that God created uh, unfortunately Ethan lives in uh, uh, Oklahoma so hopefully he will send me a month-to-month -month photo or yeah. video that way uh, I yeah that'd be great so I, then I can uh, update the audience what's it look like month-to-month uh, -month, um, where Chris he, he actually lives where uh, my uh, where where I am is so then he can come in every month. In either case, I'll I'll try to convince you to come back for me to uh, to film you, and that, and that way the because I I'm, I believe that you're gonna have very good result. Okay, thank you.